How's it going guys? Cody guys, back again, dropping another video. Right guys, uh, it's all going a bit mad with the videos and stuff. Uh, the first initial video I posted, right, I was told that this drug um, by the lady who first posted the first ever status about it, that the drug contained heroin and fentanyl, right? I've since found out it's it's an ecstasy pill. Well, it's not a pill, it's a tablet. Um, and it's potentially laced with fentanyl, right? It's ecstasy, it's souped up MDMA, right? Now, the school at the center of the initial story is Harper Green School uh, in Bolton, just off Plodder Lane, right? Now, I'm disgusted with the school guys, right? Now, the, the school contacted the auntie, right, of a girl that had taken this drug, right? They contacted the mother and they demanded that they go into the school. They went into the meeting, right? They was told by a teacher, yes, we're aware of this drug. Yes, we are aware it's been on school premises, right? Um, but they played a bit stupid and said they've only just found out that day, right? Now, the school have been rated shockingly appalling and stuff by Ofsted, right? Now, what the school... So the school admitted to these parents that yes, the drug... Yes, the drug exists. Yes, the drug's been in the school, right? Yes, we are aware of... Uh, our school children um, being sold this drug outside of school, uh, bringing it into school and either taking it in school time or taking it away from school, right? The fact is the drug's been on school premises. Um, it's, been, it's been sold by dealers, right, that are absolutely shockingly bad and sell drugs to kids. Now, I used to be ashamed to say, but I used to be involved in the drug trade, right? Never, ever, ever, ever did I sell drugs to kids. There's rules about this sort of stuff. Consenting adults is one thing. Um, young school kids, right? I've seen a video of a girl on this drug, right? Which, like I said, is souped up ecstasy. It's it's possibly, potentially laced with, mixed with fentanyl, right? Which is a highly addictive drug, which has cost over 20,000 deaths in America. And it costs 63, 63 plus deaths here in the UK when it first landed here, right? Now... The drugs are recreational drug guys, right? Ecstasy and MDMA is taken by ravers, yeah? The, it, it, it's taken by ravers. They get off it and the the, the, the gurn and stuff and the jaws go in and the, the, they're just, they're out of it and they can dance for hours and stuff, right? Taken at cream fields, taken at concerts, taken at nightclubs, right? You sank your soaps back in the day, Hacienda. But the thing is, right, people, people that use recreational drugs, right, they do it to chase the high. Now, with this drug, right, um, with this souped up MDMA that's being sold to kids, right, you take one. The next time you take one, it doesn't have the effects that it had when you first took it, right? So then what do you have to do to get the high that you got the first time? You gotta take two. Then when you take another two, right, the net, a few a week later or a few weeks later, right, it doesn't touch you and you, or you don't get the buzz or the, the euphoric high off it. So what happens? You have to take three. Right. So all the time you, you you build your your body's becoming addicted to the drug and you build his body you build his your body sorry is building up a tolerance to the drug. Now these kids right that are taking this drug right we've got a picture of the drug right so we know the drug exists right the police were contacted by the media the police have said that this is a social media rumor that it doesn't exist. Now ecstasy's been around for a very long time, but. If you keep selling the same drug, people get bored. So people start to mix it and lace it with stuff because they want to sell the most potent, most highly like the buzz. They want the top. They want the they want the drug that's going to give them the biggest high, right? So as time's gone over, ecstasy, MDMA, and other drugs, they, they lace it with something a bit more potent. They mess around. They try new things, right? These dealers, right? And then you can get like a super strain or a strong laced. Uh, you lace it with something else and you get the high so the thing is as well pills yeah back in the day you said five pound a pill then you could get two two for a fiver three for a fiver but as it gets more and more as it gets as it grows and it develops the drug and these dealers are using it and mixing it with new things to chase that high to sell the most potent drug that's about right these ravers like i say they're looking for that high so what do they do they go to the dealer that's selling the highest potent drug and they go back and back and back because they're always about trying new things. Do you know what the scary thing is, guys, right? This video has gone a bit viral, which, that, like I say, that's great because it's about 
prevention, right? Now, the police are saying that it's a social media rumor. The, the Greater Manchester Police, right? It's not just the Greater Manchester Police thing. It's actually, it's local, it's national, guys. This drug is being sold to school children locally and nationally because how do I know that? Parents have contacted me. Comments in the comments section on the other videos, right? People are aware of this drug. So people have contacted me. A 24-year-old woman contacted me. I've taken the drug. I took half with my mate. This is the drug that's left over. So I, I got another picture of the drug, right? It looks, it's white and it's white and speckly, bluey green, right? Um, as you can see in the pictures that I'll put in the video, right? Now, I said to her, what's in that drug? She doesn't know. And this is a 24 year old woman. So these kids that have been sold this drug actively by drug dealers, right? I got the drug dealer's number. Now I ain't no grass. I'm not gonna put that number out there. I'm not gonna put the names out there. But the phone number for the dealer was linked to their social media account. How stupid are these dealers, guys, right? Now, like I said, it's been sold in schools. It's been sold in colleges. It's been sold to school children that are then taking the drug into school. They're trying to sell it off or they're, or they're popping a quarter or half, right, in school time, which is dangerous. And do you know what the most dangerous thing of it is, guys, right? The school at the center of the initial story, Harper Green School, right, in Bolton, Admitted to the to these parents that they called in. Yes, there's a problem. Yes, there's a drug. Yes, there is a problem with this drug. Yes, this drug has been on school premises. When this video went viral, the first video that I did, right, four hundred thousand views. The parents were up in arms, right, and it was going to the school. Do you know what the school have said? It's lies. It's not true. Now this school are more bothered about protecting the school's already damaged hit like reputation because Ofsted have rated it appalling it's it, it's it's simply it's failing students guys right and it's also putting children's lives at risk because if i was the head teacher of this school right that being made aware of this drug right and the teachers that are aware of this drug i would have hold assemblies i would have spoken to the police and i'd be working with the local authorities to highlight this problem i'd hold assemblies i'd send letters out um, but the school have done none of this. The school said to these parents, we will be issuing emails to all the parents. How many emails have been received by the parents? None, because they haven't done it. Because if they go on file and put something out there in the public domain, that's a point of reference then. And then if you take that to the media, the school can't deny it. The school are more interested in protecting the, 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 the school's reputation than they are to protecting your children's lives, right? It's as simple as that. And it's not just at Harper Green. It's in other schools, guys. It's in other areas. It's spread. There's a story, guys, yeah? And I'm gonna post a link in the description, right? There's a video, there's, there's, a, there's a story out of Scotland, out of Glasgow. Three people went to a Steve Akioki concert, right? Three people fell ill, having taken a strain of MDMA, right? It's 20 year old man, 16 year old girl, 16 year old boy. None of them knew each other. They all ended up in hospital, right? And two of them, and you'll read it in the story, were showing severe, uh, they were ser seriously worried about the health and safety of them, of two of the three. Uh, the, the elder one, he was stable, and I think the other two 16 year olds, they was causing uh, the staff a lot of concern and stuff, right? Like I say, the drug is here in the UK. Fentanyl, I believe it to be souped up MDMA. So ecstasy mixed with some fentanyl. Right, which if you look at the colour of the of the of the speckle within the tablet, it looks to be a greeny bluey colour. Right now, fentanyl in powder form is a greeny bluey colour. So I believe that to be true. Um, but like I say, I'm not trying to scare anyone. I'm not trying to scare them. I don't have kids, guys. I've got no stake in this. I don't need to do this video. Right. The fact is, the school are trying to the school are denying it because it will damage the reputation of the school and Ofsted and the police will be sniffing around. Right. The police are just saying the police are so overstretched and on staff. They're saying, oh, this is a social media rumor. Absolute nonsense. Uh, if a kid ends up dying. On the back of this drug which i believe is inevitable right this is why i'm trying to raise awareness and prevention right to stop a kid taking this drug and the thing is by highlighting this and stuff as we speak right uh there's a journalist that's going to speak to, to somebody it's mother that it's a mother of a daughter who has taken this drug right the interview is going to go out right 
and it and it like I say, it's gonna run and run and run, guys. The facts are this drug is about, and the reason that that I, I want it to be in the media is because it, to raise more awareness that if we if we save one children's life or stop one child taking this drug and thinking better of it. That's great because we all know, guys, Keith, we've all been teenagers, right? Teenagers now are more disenfranchised than they was when we was young. We used to smash phone boxes up and stuff. These kids are popping drugs, guys. Recreational drugs, dangerous drugs that are potentially laced with fentanyl. A highly addictive drug that is so potent and strong, it's actually used for people, cancer sufferers, at the end of life where it's riddled the body, riddled the bones, and they're in constant pain, right? Um... And this is how strong this drug is. Now, if this is being put into ecstasy tablets, which I believe it is, um, it's it's highly dangerous. And like I say, who the fucking hell sells drugs to kids, guys, right? right? I, like I said, there's rules. You don't sell drugs to kids. It's as simple as that. And the, the, the drug dealers, and by this story and these videos going viral, if it stops these dealers... Right, not all deal. A lot of dealers are quite, and it's going to sound strange, but are quite responsible, and will only sell to consenting adults. Right, that 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 that's bad enough. But consenting adult, they know they're, they they're making their own choices. These kids, guys, right? Some of them have got ADHD, guys. Some of them are vulnerable. Some of them are like will give in to peer pressure. You've got kids daring each other to take it. You've got kids that think it's funny to spike each other. The end of the day. All them things are going to lead to death. Now, the, the last video, uh, I put the first video I posted had 400,000 plus likes, uh, sorry, uh, views, right? Now, it's not heroin and it's not mixed with fentanyl, right? I believe, I, I found out it's been sold as ecstasy with Uber on it. Now, if you're going to ring up your dealer, you're going to say, have you got any of them Uber, right? Have you got any of them Uber pills, Right, so it is. It's known as Uber. We can ecstasy, MDMA, Uber. It's the same thing. It's a drug. It's when the dealer turns up. It's the same drug that you're going to get. Simple. Um, and like I say, guys, the, the, the drug's highly dangerous. It's highly potent. Um, you see, I'm seeing a lot of people were commenting, making silly comments. Oh, listen, folks, um, I've been taking drugs for all my life. Only take half. This drug isn't for for, for beginners and stuff like. You, you don't no kid anywhere should be taking this drug right and you know what the school that has denied this right guys who are you going to believe are you going to believe a school that's been slagged off by Ofsted right that have admitted acknowledged to to a smart to to a couple of parents yes the drug exists yes there's been problems kids have been put in isolation within the school and parents have been called in um, when children have allegedly been found with this drug right but yet the school are telling the wider parents this is a lie these people are trying to damage the reputation of the school right why parents are not trying to damage the reputation of the school they've got no need to but if their children are if, if their children are in contact with this drug and this school is this drug is on school premises right that's alarming guys right because like i say the school are so trying to protect the reputation as opposed to protecting children's lives could be your children right that's the scary thing and because the police are so overstretched and stuff they're saying it's it's a social media rumor but then in the next breath right when this drug comes out and stuff and it becomes more widely known right people the police will be taking note and do you know what i've had drug researchers contact me um there's itv tonight program are trying to get hold of this drug if you can actually get hold of this drug right I would love you to be able to, to, to get it to me, right? I, I'm not going to resell it or anything. The reason I want possession of this drug is so that I can get it sent off to get it tested through a friend of mine who's a journalist, right? And we will find out exactly what's in this drug. If adults don't know what's in the drug that they're taking, right, how are kids supposed to know? And how kids, when I was a kid, we was we, we used to buy sweets and, and we'd, like, we'd knock around the phone boxes and make prank calls and stuff, right, and knock a door run away. These kids these days, guys, are popping bloody drugs that are potentially, possibly, laced with fentanyl. Very, very dangerous, very addictive. Um, and you know what? Just because the children's out of sight, don't ever think that your kid can't do any wrong, right? One of the parents of one of the girls that's taken this drug was shocked and astounded, right, that the girl had taken the drug, right? The facts are, we've got the picture of the drug, so the drug's a real drug, right? It's being sold by dealers to kids. We know that much because kids have been found in possession of it. The picture of the drugs, the picture of the drug that's on there isn't from Google, guys. 
It's from a school girl that goes to Harper Green School. They all club together and spent £64 on the drug. And we're taking half each, right? So this is this is the reality, guys. And it's not just happening in Harper Green School. It's happening in other schools and other colleges, locally and nationally, guys. I've had hundreds of friend requests. I've had people commenting, sharing it and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm not trying to be a, a viral star. I, I'm trying to, I don't even have kids. I'm simply trying to raise this drug to your awareness so that, you, that the kids don't take it, parents don't take it, and hopefully drug dealers will think twice about selling it to bloody kids, which is vile, right? At the end of the day, prevention is key. Awareness is key. Thank you for sharing the video, guys. Thank you for all your great comments and stuff. Um, though there's going to be stories coming out in the media, guys, because... As I speak, the, the interviews are taking place, guys, right? Simple fact is the school have got a responsibility to the pupils and to the te uh, and, and to the parents and stuff. Right, guys, going to leave this video here. God bless you all. Speak to you all soon, guys. Bye.